This is the DCR250 from Raynox in Japan. They make all kind of uh, conversion lenses like uh, fish eyes or telephoto conversion lenses. They make also three other kind of uh, macro lenses like this one and other optical related uh, things. The Renox DCR250 comes in two parts. The lens that you can screw directly if you have a filter thread of 43 mm and the adapter in plastic with two spring-loaded switches on each part that you can clip on your lens with a filter thread between 52 and 67 mm. If the dimensions don't match, you can buy cheap step-up or step-down rings. Renox says about the DCR250 that it is more suitable for lenses with a focal length of 75 mm and higher. I tried it already with my RF 35mm macro lens and it works well. However, I must say that you don't get too much magnification at this focal length. So today we will try it on two different lenses, the Canon RF 100-400, a telephoto lens, and a dedicated macro lens, the Laowa 65mm Ultra Macro. So attached to the RF 100 to 400, fully extended at 400 mm, you have a crazy magnification ratio of 3 to 1. But you don't want to go at 400 mm because your depth of field is so tiny that even at f22, I have a hard time to get uh, something good. And f22 is not a place you want to be. Not only this, but now, if you are fully extended at 400 mm, now your subject is very far from my flash, which is uh, not adapted to my new setup. And um, the depth of field is so small and the subject is so far that sometimes I have really a hard time to find my, uh, my target. That said, it's pretty amazing that you can uh, take just that setup with a zoom lens, a Rainox and your camera and go in the wild and photograph pretty much everything from far away wildlife to very tiny insects. This is the very first picture that I took with the RF 100 to 400 and the Rhinox. You can see already that there is a lot of blur in this photo due to an extra small depth of field. We are at 165 mm of focal length, aperture f11. I think this is the larvae of a ladybug. No crop, just the neutral canon profile. The colors are great and if we zoom in a little bit, we can see that the details are pretty good. This could be the ladybug that came out of the larvae we just saw. This time we are at 100mm f11. It's a bit cropped and edited. You can see some good details at the back of our subject. I tried some focus tacking at 260mm f11, no crop. Unfortunately it's missing a slice here and there, but at least you see the potential of this setup. Keep in mind that the flash was absolutely not adapted for the situation. Now let me show you what we can get at 400mm. Here we have an extremely tiny little ant transporting the leg of a small fly. No crop, just the neutral canon profile. We are at three times of magnification and even though we are at f18, everything is blurred except a little bit here and there. You can see a clear line of focus. Let's compare it quickly with the three times of magnification that you can get with the Laowa. And we are at only f5.6. Now let's go back to the RF 100 to 400 at a reasonable focal length.
let's try it on the Lawa 65mm Ultra Macro. Now you can see that the flash diffuser has a much better position because the lens is shorter. Uh, we also have a great 3 to 1 magnification ratio. But now the depth of field is way more better than with the RF 100 to 400. The new problem is that the working distance is uh, shorter, but with a uh, 2.7 cm, it's still okay. Great! So I must say that it's a lot more fun to shoot with that uh, little setup if you shoot only macro. Now, uh, of course, it's a lot uh, less versatile than with the RF100 to 400. I made some focus stacking. Here you have a jumping spider. I don't know the exact species. By the way, little advice, always take a picture from the top of the insect if you want to ask later about the species. Here she is from the top. If you know any scientific or common name, please feel free to write it on the comment section below. It will be very appreciated. Another maybe 8 or 10 stack of a lynx spider. A skipper butterfly, I think around 5 stack of the head. I shot also all sorts of tiny things all around 1 mm long. The kind of shoot that you cannot get at only one time of magnification. Here we have a little fly. A little white fly. A small leaf hopper. This one is also a leaf hopper, a little bit bigger, but very cool. I think the Rhinox is a good item to bring with you. Whether you have a regular lens or a dedicated macro lens, in both cases it will do a good job and get you closer to your subject. The results are quite good in my opinion. And it is so convenient that you can just clip it on your lens when needed as opposite to extension tubes. This is small, lightweight and sharp.